Hi guys, my name is Ange Guevara and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we have a very exciting video. We're gonna be unboxing our April premium box and I'm so excited to see what we got in here. I thought I would do something a bit different this time and I would do a try on. So that's why I have no makeup on because I don't know what I'm gonna get in there yet. But I thought we would try out all the products together and see how you guys like that instead of me just opening them. But before we get into it, make sure to subscribe if you want beauty videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And let's get into it. So the theme for the month is sweet treats. And the first thing that we have in here is the Crystal Ball Roller Gloss Duo. And this is what they look like. There is two of them. It's from Nails Inc. London. This is what the first one looks like. It has little like purple ones on the bottom. And this one just kind of has like clearish ones on the bottom. So I'm just going to put this on now. See how it feels on the lips. Honestly, not much really comes out. Okay, I feel like I've been rolling for a while and like nothing came out. I'm gonna try the other one. Um, so far nothing has come out of these two. I think I'll try them later again, but so far I don't really care for them. They are worth $24 for both though. It says it is supposed to be the glossiest rollerball to date. I don't know about that. I don't think it's really doing anything. Okay, so this was actually one of the things I... I think I kind of had to pick this out. It was... I picked out the NARS blush. And I think this was like my only other second option. But it does look really nice. So this is the Iconic Sunset to Sunrise eyeshadow palette. Oh wow, I feel like the shades are so much bigger in person than like what you see online. We'll be playing in that today to see how it is. And this one retails for $62. It's only 20 shades. Wow, and it's 62. And it does look nice. It has really nice packaging and everything. So I'm excited to see how the formula is and then we'll be able to say if it's really worth $62 or not. Ooh, so next we have a Tarte Double Take Eyeliner. Wow, so we have... This feels very, very creamy. Ooh. So we have the regular, like, pencil side on one. And then on the other side we have a liquid one. And this is what they swatch as. So the top one is the pencil one and the bottom one's the liquid one. The liquid one does look very pigmented. I mean, they both do, but I feel like the liquid one does. It is kind of a little separating, but we'll see how it performs. I mean, I can't use the liquid eyeliner because I still have on my eyelash extensions, even though they're very separated right now. I am getting my fill on Tuesday, so I am so excited for that. Um, and that retails for $24. I don't think that's bad, honestly, for Tarte and it being two things in one. Oh, we have another eyeliner. Huh. So next we have the Dose of Colors eyeliner in Sketch. Oh, this is kind of cool. It's like an actual pencil shape. That's awesome. I like that. I want to say this is like a dark brown. Yeah. Dark brown. I'm hoping we can use one of these with the look today. I'm sure we'll end up using the dark brown just because it'll probably go more with the sunset look. But this is the dark brown one on the bottom. That one retails for $15. I feel like that's not bad for being high end. I feel like that's not bad at all. Ooh, and then this is the blush that I picked up. I was in between this one and the Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette, but I went with this one because I already have a Natasha Denona one that I got in BoxyCharm, and I haven't tried NARS's blushes yet, so I was like, I have to, you know? And I thought this color was so pretty. This is it. Excited to use this. I'm interested to see how the formula is, because, I again, I haven't tried them yet. This retails for... $30. It's like it may be a shimmering one, but I can't fully tell. It looks like it does have like tiny little specks in there, but nothing too insane. Ah, and then I actually already have this product. So it is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter um, Instant Retouch Primer. 
in soft matte. So, so I'll actually be throwing this into the giveaway that I am going to be announcing at the end of this week for our monthly giveaways that we do on this channel. So this actually retails for 32 so this is the soft matte kind. I actually have the true matte one and I have the soft matte. I do have oily skin. However, I like the soft matte one better. So I think you guys will really like this in the giveaway if you win. I'll be using that on my face today just so you guys can see how it works. I feel like we got a lot of nice products to try out and see if we like them. So let's add up the cost and see how much it's worth. And then we'll get into doing the face. So our value came out to 187 and we only paid $35 for it. So I think that is amazing. I think it's a really great value. I like a lot of the stuff that I got today and I'm excited to try them out. The only thing I really don't care for is these roller balls, but I'll see you again later if they eventually come up. But let's get into the face. So I am only going to be doing all the products that I got in this boxy charm on the face like showing you guys the rest I'll be doing off camera but since I always start off with the eyes and we have eyeshadow I'm gonna quickly get my eyeshadow primer so we are gonna get started with the eyes okay so I zoomed you guys in a little bit more so you can see the whole process so I am just gonna quickly go in with my Allmark Cosmetics um, eyeshadow primer I love how this leaves your eyeshadow so pigmented my squeezy tube is a little bit ugly because I got it in um, one of the pop-ups and they had the little like sticker on it. Okay, now that we have that on, uh, I kind of want to try to match what I'm wearing. Let's just go all over the lid with Summer Lovin'. There's not a crazy amount of fallout like in the actual pan, which is nice. I mean, so far with the one shade. I really have no idea what I am going to be doing. I feel like this palette does have a lot of shimmer shades and not too many like transitional shades like on me all. Because the main transitional shades are this bottom row, which are all pretty light. And then we have this one still has a bit of a shimmer in it. This one still has a bit of shimmer in it, and then we have that one. So there's really not, really not that many choices at all. So for that, I'm like $62, and I'm struggling to... <laughs> I'm just going to go in and take After Party, and I'm going to do it in the crease. It is pigmented, I will say that. I'm going to blend it in with a bigger brush. Didn't really come out the evenest. <laughs> now I'm just going to take the shade All Nighter and I'm going to put it in the outer crease. I am hoping it doesn't look too bad since it is a little bit sparkly. But we will see. I am just going to dab it first. Again, these shades are very pigmented. I just don't know if the color story is something I would buy. Because it does look pretty, but then when you actually try to do a look with it, it is very, very hard. Okay, now we are going to go in with Bikini Babe, and I am just going to use my finger. Ooh, that did feel really nice and smooth. Ooh, it looks really pretty on the lid. And that, that's what it looks like. I think it looks so pretty. It does take a few trips in and out to get it to have that much on the eye. But that's about it. And at least with the shades I'm using, there's literally no fallout. So if you're looking for that and you love this color story, this is the palette for you. I'm actually just going to dip into After Party again. And I'm just going to use this one to mix the shades together because I don't want it too, too dark. 
Okay, so now we are done with the eyes. I don't think they look bad at all, to be honest with you. Again, just not the hugest fan of the color story. But as long as you like that, you'll like this palette. Honestly, the shimmer was so soft. And you don't see any, like, fallout on my face. And it was so soft. So, I love that. Like, I really do. Okay, now we are going to prime the face with my Fenty Beauty Soft matte pro filter primer again i do like this one better than the true matte one that's how the skin is looking so far i am gonna bounce off camera real quick and I'm going to do everything else up until the blush, and we will be right back. Okay, guys, we are back. Majority of the face is done. I set my face. I put on some cream blush, bronzer, did my brows, and that's about it. Oh, I forgot to tell you. I know I did not tell you guys the blush shade, but it is Deep Throat, and that is what it looks like again. Um, so I am just going to go ahead and put this on. Okay. Okay, it does give it a nice flush of color. I feel like when you kind of look at it, you're like, is it really adding much? But then you compare it to the other side, and it does. At least that's how I felt looking at it right now. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. I'm gonna pop on highlight real quick. Okay, so now we are gonna go ahead and put on some eyeliner. So I am gonna use the Dose of Color ones, and I forgot again to say the shade, but this one is in Sketch. Honestly, like I really do like how this look is looking. Okay, so now we are going to go ahead and do the lower lash line. I think because the top is so orangey that I can try to go ahead and go in with tan lines on the lower lash line. I'm not sure how this is going to look at all, but I like to be a little daring. These shades are for real so pigmented. I'm gonna put in the inner corner highlight. And for the inner corner highlight, I'm gonna use Moonlit. So that's how our eyes are looking. I do like them, actually. I think the um, lower lash line isn't too bright for the um, upper one. It gives it a little nice light pop of color. Okay, so I'm going to really quickly get off camera, finish the look, and then we will come back once again. Okay, guys, so this is the finished look. I'll just quickly go over all the products really quick. I'll start with what I used first, which is the Iconic Sunset to Sunrise Eyeshadow Palette. I love the formula. I would get another eyeshadow palette from them. I'm not huge on how many shimmers there are compared to mattes, and I feel like the mattes aren't the greatest color. But again, formula is great. I literally did not have to wipe under my eyes at all with the shimmer. Like, it was just such a great formula. So for the soft matte one, I really like it. I feel like it does do a great job. Again, um, I feel like it does kind of smooth out your skin. Uh, it does keep your foundation lasting for a while. I do, I do really like it this one next this nars blush i do like it i feel like it gave me the most natural nice flush of color it goes on very like lightweight like i don't even feel it going on my skin at all i really like it like i would get another nars blush like it is just nice it's a nice little flush of color again lightweight but yeah i really enjoyed this as well so for the tartist um eyeliner and liquid eyeliner and then the eyeliner pencil obviously I didn't use this so I can't really speak on it but the eyeliner it's still on my hand so the dose of colors one I do really like I feel like it's very like creamy it went on the eyes very nicely like it didn't take much build up honestly um I don't know I just really like how it looks on the eyes and how the formula is and yeah, it just went on really nice. And for these, I don't really care for them at all. I did feel like I was rolling them on my lips for a while and still not getting anything out of them. 
So for that, I really don't like them. So that is it for today's video. Let me know if you guys enjoyed me trying these on. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to subscribe for beauty videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And my monthly giveaway is coming up, so stay tuned for that. Alright, bye guys!